The biased BBC have once again been criticised for being extremely left-wing and anti-British when it comes to their history documentaries. Yep, another unsurprising piece of news story for you guys today. Uh, the BBC have been uh, producing a lot of content over the last few years, especially when it comes to history programs and documentaries and everything has been completely biased. Look at these guys. Everything about British history, everything about our demographics, everything about the values of this country has been undermined and it took until now for some people to start actually having some sort of investigation into what the BBC bosses have been doing when it comes to their decision making process. So we have this uh, an article that talks about this uh, saying there have been a lot of programs uh, and there was an investigation and this document that came out that highlighted uh, the misadventures of uh, Ramesh uh, uh, Ranganathan and uh, in which they, the, this comedian, so-called comedian by the way, left-wing comedian, uh, goes to uh, Sierra Leone and discusses Britain's role in the slave trade um, and the way they talked about it if you watched an, even a little, little bit of it, actually don't need to because it's absolutely, it's completely infuriating uh, what's been going on with that program. It kind of shows everything was one-sided. And there are also other programs that, for example, talked about uh, the famine uh, in India and other places, especially in India in 1943, uh, that again talked about in a very one-sided way against Churchill and Churchill's government and British government in general, despite the fact that Britain sent large shipments of food to the Indian region in the face of the food shortages. They don't talk about that. They don't talk about the fact that Sierra Leone and many other places in Africa, it wasn't just one-sided. People from the white Europeans didn't go in and just pick up people to come bring them here to or to America. There were actual slave traders uh, the African leaders who created the, uh, the, the trade, who created, who turned human beings into commodities. They had their products ready as commodities. And they were saying, guys from Europe, come here, pay us money. We'll give you this person. And this person that belongs to you. Why are we not criticizing them? When are we going to start actually talking about the fact that the African leaders themselves created that trade? No, no, no. We just went there and just stole people for no reason. And both sides obviously messed up. And it was, in fact, Britain throughout history. When we evolve, and, and when it comes to especially this issue, we almost went bankrupt as a country in order to fight against it, in order to abolish it, in order to bring in some civility into the world. But no, we don't. Britain is not going to take any credit. Everything about the BBC is going down. Everything. And, and then it, it's a shame because there will be people who've been watching the BBC for decades. And back in the day when it was just about reporting in the news and then it turned into obviously entertainment, even in the entertainment aspects of the BBC was slightly more tolerable because it wasn't really filled with political um, messages or a political agenda in any sense, but not anymore. And it's time to defund the BBC. And then it's time for you guys to subscribe to this channel because we are the media.